Now, if you look at this control panel right here, you'll know what I mean. I have eight available steps for me to send any material through. And for each step, I can flick one lever on to tell the system what I'd like to do. So for example, if you had some cobblestone and wanted to turn it into iron ingots, you'd go ahead and flick on the crushing wheel lever on the first step, the wash station lever on the second step, and then the mechanical press on the third step. And now you'll just place your cobblestone in this input chest right here and wait for the magic to happen. Now, at this point, we should expect the flint and sand to start coming in. The iron ingots would start coming in a little bit later since the nuggets need to go through the mechanical press before coming out. And since you can set programs that are as long as 8 steps here, you can take your processing further and you can easily connect the machine's input to your quarry or cobblestone generator or whatever it is that you need to process. Now before we try some more complex programs, let's go ahead and take a tour around the machine itself so you know what's happening back there. And I'll have you know that this is actually the third version of this machine since I've built two designs before this that were much larger and bulkier, but I finally managed to get this down to a usable size and make it as affordable as possible. Now to show you what this machine is doing, all I need to do is show you how a single one of these layers work and you'll have the full picture. Basically, whenever anything is placed in the input chest below, it'll get pulled up through this series of chutes that are powered by fans and will be brought all the way up to this chest and then on this conveyor belt. And by default, when none of the levers on the control panel are flicked on, all of these funnels on the side here are locked. Whenever a lever is flicked on, it'll turn off the corresponding torch using a redstone link and that will simply unlock the funnel. And all of these funnels are turned around so they pull items into the chest instead of out, and you can do that with a wrench, just like this. Now if nothing is selected, items will stay on the conveyor belt until they reach the end, and then they'll go through this series of chutes all the way down to the bottom, and they'll get delivered into the output chest. The same rule applies to every layer of this machine so that whenever we give it instructions, they will be followed until the items reach a row where we didn't make any choices. And now since we did make some choices a little earlier, you can see this torch turned off. So this funnel right here is unlocked and it takes items off of the belt and into the crushing wheels. And once the items are crushed, they'll get deposited on this lower conveyor belt right here. And this is going to be the same, regardless of what option we had picked, items will get processed and then get delivered down to this belt. And at this point, all items will go all the way to the end, get deposited on the conveyor belt for the next layer of the machine, which is an identical copy of the layer above it. And depending on what we selected for this layer, the corresponding funnel will be unlocked, and so the process will continue. And as you see, items can get smelted, washed, uh, they can go through a millstone, crushing wheels, or a mechanical press. And since I'm mentioning the mechanical press, I wanted to tell you that the setup where we press ingots into sheets on a depot was pretty simple and straightforward. But the setup to press other things inside a basin was a bit tricky to figure out. So I've resorted to using a filter that has a lot of blocks manually set with it. So if you end up using this machine, please do know that the mechanical press filter is a work in progress and you might want to add materials to it as you go. It currently has um, a bunch of nuggets as well as clay and a couple of other things, but I already have a few ideas on how to make this better in the future so we don't actually need to keep upgrading the filter. So I'll try to work on that, especially if there's enough interest in this machine. So uh, do let me know in the comments if you like it. And so once our items go through all the steps they need to go through, they will end up on this side chute and all the way down onto the bottom conveyor belt of the lowest layer. And this belt will lead everything down to the side and into the output chest. So you'd never have to actually go and put things into machines yourself. And now that we've seen how the machine works, I'd like to try a slightly more complex program down here while I tell you a little bit more about the control area. So let's go ahead and set the program for gold generation since that was the topic of my last create mod contraption, the uh, configurable multi-purpose farm that can produce iron, gold or glass on demand. And you might want to check out that video if you haven't seen it yet, um, the link should be popping up right up and uh, will also be in the description. So first we'll crush the cobblestone into gravel and flint, and then we'll crush the gravel into sand, flint and clay. And then we'll press the clay into clay blocks and smelt those into terracotta and then we'll crush those into red sand. And finally we'll wash the red sand into gold nuggets and dead bushes. 
and that gives us a good number of steps here. So let's place a bunch of cobblestone in the chest and wait for the gold to come in. And while we wait, I wanted to bring your attention to this emergency shutoff lever right here. Now of course I don't really imagine a situation where you'll need to use this lever. But I'm using it to show you that this entire contraption is powered by a single motor that's right here behind the wall and it can be powered by a single source connected to any point anywhere in the machine. And if we take a quick look at the stressometer right here, we'll see that this machine takes about 100,000 stress units, so it's not really super easy to power. Of course, as usual, the full schematic for this machine is available in the description below, and if you do end up setting this up in your world, I'd really love to hear about your experience. Now as items start to come in, we start to hear the bell and start to see the light blinking and obviously the sand and flint will be the first to make it and the gold nuggets will follow them soon after. 